Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode number 8 of our FIFA 1819 Ultimate Team Road to Glory And as you can see, we've got our coins back up today Because I was doing a few trading things last night um, I was trading a few few items around, doing my usual sniping filters um, We're going to quick sell that We've nearly sold all our bronze players now, which is very nice um, obviously now it's Friday which means everyone has the game uh, which means some players have probably gone up in price or might have even gone down in price let's check when I was um, I know what his price has been for most of FIFA it's been at about 400k and it's he's actually gone down a little so and actually he hasn't done too much um, Obviously today is Friday, and that means we have the Player of the Month coming out very, very soon. Um, or probably at what, like 4pm or 6pm today, which is going to be uh, nice. So that will be out by the time this happens today. My investments have crashed like there's been no fucking tomorrow, so I'm probably just going to sell all these guys off. Um, because I don't have a need for them anymore. You know, I can just sell them all off. We lose a bit on them, but I don't really mind, you know, we'll take the coins back. It was coins that I didn't really need. Um, probably bought them a little too early. But, you know, lessons are learnt. And for me, 2k for Chris Morlin is a hell of a buy. You know, Chris Morlin has been amazing for me in FIFA. To have nearly the 70 pace... And then all of that as well, all the other stats as well, that's pretty good. Christensen probably, I mean, he, he could have gone up a little, let's see. Uh, let's go transfers. Christensen. Oh no, he's even, he's even lower than Thingy right now. I'm going to hold on to Christensen actually, um, because of the player of the month SBC later today, 82s could be somewhat useful and he's from Chelsea so, you know, he, his price could go up a little. Um, we have Stefan El Shawari, we have the Alexander Arnold who isn't really doing anything too spectacular, this Delort guy isn't really doing anything either for me, let's be honest. Uh, let's just list him for 400 coins, see if he sells. We're taking ourselves up nearly to 20k. The Alexander Arnold, let's just do 900 for him. And then we have the two Al Sharawis, which is going to be Al Sharawi, who is at probably barely any coins because people have. Packed him so often. So he's currently at what 1.5. So I'll do him for 1.5k. Things are selling, which is nice. One of these is sold or not? How much for these? 1.5. One of them. We'll list the El Sharawis up for 1.5k. Uh, there we go, all list them up, he is all listed up, one player I would potentially like to look at, I didn't actually check the polls from yesterday's video, but uh, we'll check Eric Bailly right now, I don't know how much Eric Bailly is at, yeah look, he's very expensive again, um, which is no surprise at all, um, just really checking a few player prices that players that I traditionally like to have in a team like Matic as well I don't mind having a bit of Matic Matic for an 86 rated is actually quite cheap but our midfield right now is okay um, 
so yesterday we did actually have our first SBC of the game that comes out, which is a uh, marquee matchups. Um, so these now come out on back on FIFA 17. They're out on Thursday. 18, they changed them to come out on Tuesdays, and now we're back to the Thursdays, which is okay, I guess. Um, we'll submit this first one then. Chelsea versus Liverpool. They didn't really create any filters. Um, you know, the only thing you need is a Chelsea or Liverpool player. And I... Nothing really happened with the prices, you know. Um, there, I mean, possibly the players from them clubs are a little bit better to snipe. You know, by sniping Giroud and Shakiri last night. Um, just because I felt like sniping them. But... Look, you go Chelsea, Gold, they're at literally 750 coins for Emerson, so is it worth sniping on them? Probably not, you know, it's probably not going to get you anywhere, you know, their players are selling at 650 coins, which means you can't even get a rare card for that. So, the, the profit margin is very, very small. And the same goes for Liverpool. I'm doubting any of their players are going. They're, still, they're even cheaper, look. Mignolet and Divock are even cheaper. And I'm guessing that, that could easily be applied from EA here to to try and counteract the people who, who buy stuff for marquee matchups. Because EA, I doubt they want us investing. So, we're going to submit... This Chelsea versus Liverpool SBC. We'll crack that in there. Um, all of them are about the same, to be honest. Because, look, you only need one Atletico Real Madrid player, so they're not going to be up in prices much at all. The Rio of Bovista probably isn't going to be up much at all either. Um, and the Netherlands players, possibly. Netherlands Eredivisie, possibly. Um... We'll go to the Real Madrid Atletico then. We'll get this done. I'll complete this. Not going to do it on camera. Just going to shove some players in. And then uh, we'll submit this one. And guys, so that is that one done. It's cost me a few thousand coins uh, to do. But it doesn't bother me too much. I'm guessing the rewards should be better. I mean, what rewards do we get from this? We get a mixed players pack. We get a jumbo gold pack. Premium gold pack. Silver players pack. Oh my lord. What's the big pack at the end? We get a gold players pack, so ah, it's 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 neither give nor take. Um, now we need some Portuguese league players here. Um, let's see what Portuguese league players we have hanging about. Do we have enough here that could complete a team? This guy right here is going to be fantastic. He's going to get a nice strong link there. Let's just see if we have any NOS players. Let's just throw them in. So there's the League of NOS players we need. Um, we don't need a... No, we don't. Good. So we can use basically any players from now on we can use like a die we can go with we can try and do some English across the back line uh, we'll go with this Korean geezer and in goal we will take Fisher and that oh players from the same nation okay uh, Mm, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? Uh, who do we... I mean, they're both England 4, England 2, England 2. Maybe we try... Did we not have a USA guy here as well? In bronze? No, it was like a... Mm, it was like a right back, wasn't it? We had a... Yeah. 
Now we don't have the chem. For God's sake. Oh. This is a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? Do we not have a Brazilian striker? No Brazilian striker in the club. Oh, we do have it there. We'll use him. He'll get our chemistry up. There we go. That one was simple enough to complete. Uh, we didn't really need to go out and buy anyone, so that was easy. And now we have Feyenoord versus Vitesse. Now, this one could create some sniping fillers. Um, especially, we need Dutch players. And we need Eredivisie Dutch players. So, let's pop ourselves over... Keep an eye on the video time here. Mm. Let's go to the Eredivisie. See what players we got hanging about here. Well, it's cheesy. We can throw him in, definitely. You can use him. You can use him. We'll use Van der Beek. We'll use Vilhena. And we'll use Burgus. That'll get us our four Dutch players. There, um, we also have the left wing and we also have the striker. Why not just throw them in? That's already got us our chemistry. Oh, hold on, players from the same league. Four, <laughs> oh, you can't do that, man. Um, right, so we have to have one, two, three, four. We have to take these out, these aren't gonna work. These aren't going to work. We can't use them. That means he's going to be on like no chemistry though. Can we not do that and then that? At least then he'll be on seven. Oh god, this is a, this is a joke, is it not? Oh lord, okay. Um... Let's have a look at some random leagues that we might have some centre mids for. These will do. But we probably don't have a Super League. Uh, we do have a Super League striker. Do we not have any other Super League players? Fuck, no, we don't. Um, uh, that's going to be really, really annoying. Um. Let's take these out then. I guess we can't use them. Let's have a look at Atticity. Uh, nothing for uh, nothing for the Scottish Premier League. No. Saudi Professional League. Possibly. we got the left mid. Striker. Hold on. Striker. Left mid. we got Pestos. And we can use him. Swap them. We get the 80 cam. And we just need any goalkeeper, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. So we get that done then. That's that one. That's, that's, that's that SBC done. And we complete this week's marquee matchups for a fair price. Um, a couple of thousand coins at most. Um... The thing is, do we get anything from them? The packs this week aren't great. You know, you have a silver players pack who, potentially, you could get something good in. Um, because there's some silver players that are definitely worth, and obviously marquee matchups are definitely worth trying to sell players. We get Johnson here, who is in the Dutch league, so could potentially have some sell value. Let's have a look. 900 coins there, so... I'm not too fast in keeping silvers, so we'll list him for like 700. If we can try and cover our losses in this pack, like 500, 350, you know, you should be able to sell silver players fairly easy. Uh, Nacho here, well, look at that, look, we can sell him for about 1.3k, and I cut it a little. He looks pretty decent. Asuna, the ones that. 250. I mean, we, we can sell it at 200 and see if that sells. 
Bozjek is 700 by 50. Yep, so we've seen him at 550. Uh, we'll list him for like 300. All these little bits of profits, guys. I mean, silver players, are you ever going to use them? Not really. So if they're selling, then you might as well try and at least get them out of your club and sell them on and, you know, do something better with the coins. You know, especially at this stage at FIFA, when you're trying to improve your team and stuff, any, any of the coins that you can get are definitely going to help. Um, let's check Yavi Munoz here. He was at 500 there, so let's list him for like 300. See if he sells there. Uh, Bulldog 450. I see there. There's a lot of him on the market. But I see 400, 450. Yeah, there is a ton of him on the market, so I'm just gonna literally sell him 250 coins. See if we can get him for that. We get a Belgian League player here, 350 coins, 200. If I see one there for 200, the likeness is mine probably won't sell. Kovar, 250. I mean, no one's probably going to buy him. Hunchka, there we go. Look, he has decent pace. So we'll sell him for like 700, see if he sells. And then Fliprzowski is at 250. So there, none of them are probably going to sell. But uh, let's do now... I say we do the mixed players pack because this one is not guaranteed you to get anything good because the the rare could be in any of the gold. We actually get a rare gold here. We actually get Pascal Grosch from Brighton and Hove Albion, a team that I do have I do like. I do like a bit of do like Brighton. We also get Andre there. Let's see if any of these silvers sell for anything. 450, probably not going to be worth selling. 350, no. Sanfdal. Whoa, look at that. Hey. Hey, 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 look at this guy. Like, his cheapest is what? 3,000 coins? I'm going to try listing him up for 2.5k. See, these packs where you get the silver players, guys, are definitely worth, you know. It's worth seeing if you can sell these guys up. Compare price for Haleanus. I mean, sure, there'll be guys that aren't selling for anything. And it's worth just keeping them in the club. Because there might be a Saudi League SBC at some point in the game. And Fleming here. 400, 300, 2. Yeah, so we'll just store all them in the club. Uh, something has sold there. We'll do these in order that they're in now then. We'll get the premium gold pack out the way. Uh, see what we get here. We that's nothing good, is it? No, it's a left mid from Newcastle. It's Christian Atsu. Um, I mean, apart from the pace, he really isn't any good for anything else, is he? Yeah, that just trash. Very well, his dribbling's all right. Uh, it's his composure that uh, brings that down a little. But we do get another squad fitness there. We get some more players to to fill in the club. Uh, we will discard that for 83 coins. That's going to help us out. Okay, Jumbo Gold Pack now. 24 gold items, 3 rares. No boards, but it is a Argentinian goalkeeper. It's bloody Rulli again. This Rulli, we've packed him 3 times in the space of a week. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty frustrating. Um... So we get the, a lot of players here, and we get some a lot of contracts. Well, compare his, his price is like he's barely a thousand coins. So oh no, we haven't packed him actually. We must have used him for an SBC. Uh, so we get him back, and then we get these guys here. I mean, I doubt Marquette is selling for anything. Yeah, I see six hundred coins not buying. So we'll do him at like four fifty. See if he sells. And then Harielli is at. Uh, let's do maybe 500 on him. 550 on the Harielli. And then we have this premium gold players pack, which is where potentially the big player should be. And I don't think it's anything. Nope, we get nothing for it. We get a cam. It's going to be Yayic from Besiktas. 
So was it worth dumping? Are Marky matchups worth load dumping loads of coins into? Not if you don't have them, honestly. The the money you're gonna get back from them is minimal. On a on a good day, you know, I'm barely breaking even. If you were to sell everything in them, then you would probably get your coins back. Because a lot of the player packs here have been decent. Why is this guy so expensive? I've seen nothing less than 1.2k. Was I right in thinking I saw nothing less than 1.2? I didn't see anything less than 1.2, so we'll list him up for 850 and we'll get him on the market. We'll see what other things are started. We've got some stuff started to sell here. Uh, we've sold the Marchetti and the Munoz. Uh, we'll see how the rest of that sells. If all that does sell, we should get ourselves up to about 30,000 coins. Now, the team is unchanged uh, for now. Um, no changes have happened with the team. Um, I might play around a little bit with it later um, with some custom tactics and stuff. The way I have it set up right now is the instructions. I've got the wingers cutting inside and getting in behind. I've got Lacazette getting in behind to stay in central. I've got Oxlade Chamberlain on staying forwards. I've got Herrera and Henderson. Henderson staying back while attacking. Um, then we have Mendy and all that on balanced. So, uh, is it working? I mean, it's hard to say. I I don't really know what's working for me on FIFA at the moment. I'm going through this huge, I don't know what's working for me. Um, but uh, as you can see, our next rank, uh, if we get some good points today, we could get to the next rank. Um, rank 1. Obviously these points are just going to keep going up and up and up during the week. But we start, you know, I'd love to finish in rank 1 so we can get ourselves either those 58,000 coins. I may even try getting the packs this week. You know, I might even go... For the, the Jumbo Premiums and the Rare Players Pack, I uh, could go for that and see if we get anything this week. You know, if I trade every night and get myself some coins, then we can get a player that way. But uh, let's jump into these rivals then. Um, and also we should get some coins through squad battles as well. Uh, the team is full on contract. Maybe that's our problem. We got Maurizio Pochentino as our manager. Maybe we need a better manager. Maybe we need... a. Uh, Oh god, that... Okay, yeah. We don't want to play against Sheep Shackers, thank you. That's bestiality and all sorts of weird shit. Um, while this is loading up, let's quickly check the poll on yesterday's video. See if anyone actually did have a have a cheeky vote on it. I doubt they did, because I don't think the watch time is any more than about a minute on my videos. Which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but nothing much we can really do about that, is there? Uh, let's wait for this opponent, and why is my YouTube not loading on here? Probably because I've got about a million apps open. Okay, can we just ex appreciate how insane this guy's team is? And how he's only just managed to score. He has got Yishi. I didn't have a look at his team before the game started. But his team is on another level to mine. Look at this. Abamyang, Firmino, Pogba, Sane, Rijkaard, Bernardo Silva, Walker, Vertonghen, Alonso, Aspilicueta and fucking Yashin in goal. How am I supposed to compete against this? Like, how is this fair matchmaking from EA? Like, I know I'm playing at, what, quarter past nine in the morning, but this is an insane... Look, look at the game, it's been so tight, because there's been, like, no opportunities for fucking shots. I've had 60% of the ball, I've been controlling the game, and this guy literally just pumps a through ball through... And he can he can score just like that. 
because he's got a better team than me. Go on, Fraser! Oh, that was so close. Come on, let's go ball in here. Oh. oh, yes, come on, here's Chamberlain. Chamberlain on the ball, and it's a goal. Imagine spending all that money on the game, spending hundreds of pounds on the game to get your insane team. And I'm here, who spent 50 pounds on the FIFA points, or well, not in that, 48 pounds on FIFA points. Well, I've spent. A mere 72 pounds on the game, and I've traded my way. You know, I've been making my way downtown, walking fast, chasing fast because I'm homebound. It's Lacazette! Oh, he's overrun it! He's overrun it into Yashin's hand. Come on! Here's William! Here's Herrera! Oh, he's under pressure here! He's under huge pressure now, he's really feeling it. Ryan Fraser, it's 2-1. Woo! Let's go. 2-1, Ryan Fraser. Someone's birthday on Facebook. Come on, 2-1, let's go. Yes, we see it out, 2-1. <laughs> oh, my. Let's, let me quickly change this. Hold on. I don't think we're synced up properly here. That should be better. Okay. We get a 2-1 victory. Um, very, very solid. You know, I knew I was in control of the game. I knew that I was in control of the game and I would get... Look at the position. Look. Okay. My team. His team. My team. His team. Trash can opponent. Trash can. Trash can. Get the fuck out the game. He's a trash. EA Sports FIFA tweeting. Come on, match victory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 65 fuck champs points. We're nearly at 1,000 now. We're nearly, nearly there for fuck champs. Over 1,500 skill rating now. And we get a good 680 points there, which is very, very nice. We get another 680 points next time around. We'll nearly be in rank 1, which will be a huge achievement. Um, but there's only one thing to do, and that's to get straight into the second game. All right, then. Second team, very similar team to me. Uh, he's got Richard, Richardson, or whoever that, Bernard over there, actually. Sahar, Lucas, Deli Ali, Henderson, Jorginho, Mendy, Bailly, Stones, Trippier, and Jordan Fick Pickford with the legendary Rafa Benitez as the manager. I've got hiccups. Maybe that's a good omen. Maybe we're going to win. Ah, he scored. Ah, that's annoying. It is fucking Lucas. Lucas Mora, man. He, he, ah, just finishes me with a... One skill move finishes me. And it just tears my defence apart, man. That's always been a big weakness in my game in FIFA, I think. It's the fact that, you know, I don't do skills, which probably does let me down with a team which is primarily wing-based. But, you know, I might mix it up a little bit in the next episode. I think after to this episode, it's that skill move that kills me. He turns inside and just fucking does a bit. I might try a 4-1-2-1-2. I think for the next epi maybe um, or I'll definitely experiment with some formations later today because there's still something not quite gelling with me in this game I don't know what it is no oh, it's 2-0 oh dear that's a shame it's a big shame Bernard with the goal now just manages to whip the ball in and Bernard headers headers are too OP in this game man they're very OP there we go then 2-0 look no shots on target for me here today um, which is a bit of a joke 
what I am going to do, let's just try this. Let's just try changing to the 4 one 2, one, two here. We'll have Fraser and Lacazette up top. We'll have... No, we won't. We'll have Fraser over there. We'll put him there. We'll throw Herrera in CAM. Chamberlain there. We'll just tell our two strikers to get in behind. Let's see what that does. Let's see if there's any change with formation or anything. Because... I struggle creatively up top, having the one ST. Maybe it will be better if I had just the two strikers up top to try and at least create something. Oh, Herrera. Herrera nearly with the wonder goal. I am playing a little more positively. Um... The team seems to have a bit more balance to it. I think having the CDM helps. Definitely. We might even get a goal here. Mm, not for Stones. Stones is very physical. I think if we get another striker who's going to be able to play through Lacazette. Um, play him into goal. Someone who's maybe that little bit taller. I think that could be the answer to helping Lacazette score more goals. Because most of my Lacazette goals have actually come from set pieces. Um, not many open field goals I've scored with Lacazette. And that would have been a joke if that had gone in, let's be honest. Um, but I'm not too bothered about winning or losing this match now, to be honest. I think it's more of a, a tester to see whether the 4-1-2-1-2 is going to is gonna work a little bit better for us. Um, it, it might well be. It might well be that 4-1-2-1-2 is a better formation for me. I kind of just sway, change to 4-3-3 again because everyone said, oh, crossing is really good in FIFA. And crossing is good in FIFA. But the problem is my striker isn't really a striker you want to cross to. Because he's about five foot ten, and is not going to get his head on any high balls. Let's be honest. Um, so maybe having a strike partner with him will help him out a little. I don't know. There we go. Then we we'll lose that on two 0 but we were a lot better in the second half. I think um, probably not by much, but we were just a little. There we go. Look, we did a bit better than him in the second half. Um, I think I'm definitely going to try a 4-1-2-1-2. Um, I think it might be a little bit better for us. We lose the game, but again, I said I wasn't really too bothered. You know, the game was over. The 4-3-3-4, clearly there's something that isn't working for us. And it's a shame. Look at our transfers. Look at this. There's still loads of stuff up for sale here. And a lot of it has actually gone ahead and sold, which is really, really good. Puts us up to 30,000 coins. Um, getting through our coin bonus unlocks. The record is looking a little bit dodgy, but uh, let's go to the transfer page then. Let's have a look at some Premier League strikers here that we might be able to link ourselves up with. I didn't even select striker, did I? No, I didn't. Uh, let's go striker then. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see... We need a nice partner for Lacazette. Maybe someone like a Morata would be good to partner with Lacazette. Because, or even someone like a, no, not a Firmino. Not a Mikel Antonio. Not Damari Gray either. Not really feeling him. Someone who's going to be able to hold up the ball. Not a Jesus. I would love a Jesus. But not, maybe someone like Morata. I mean, let's have a look here. His heading accuracy is good. His stamina is not great, but he isn't really going to be running through. His heading accuracy is 86. 60, 76, 86. <laughs> Finishing is good. Volleys are good. Short passing is pretty good as well. His agility isn't great, but he wouldn't need that great agility. Let's set a max by now to like 10k. Let's just have a look at some options here. So there is Morata. We know Morata is going to be an option. Dini would also be an option. I mean, he's 
not the best, but he'd be an option. Um, I'll say with Deporite, look at him. Even Giroud would be an option. Giroud was selling for... Okay, no, he's just really overpriced there. Even some, maybe someone like Arnautovic would be an option. You know, you've got to look at it like that. Maybe uh, an Arnautovic would be a good option. You know, six foot four. His pace is okay. Stamina is decent. Do we go for someone like Arnautovic? His heading accuracy isn't great. Giroud's heading accuracy is much better. His stamina is sucks though. I might. It's a toss up for me between Morata and Onatovic. And Morata is probably cheaper than Arnautovic right now. He's currently 6.8 thousand coins. Let's add him to the transfer targets and let's see how much Arnautovic is currently, mm, is currently at. So Arnautovic is cheaper. Uh... By a whole thousand and so coins. So let's have a look then. Between these two, pace, Morata takes it 76 to 86 to 76 to 82. But Arnautovic should get that with the chemistry style boost. Finishing for both of them, Morata's finishing is better. His attack positioning is better. His shot power is less than Arnautovic. His long shots are slightly better. His Penalties are about the same. Passing, short passing 78. Short passing for Morata is 78. His long passing worries me a little. His heading accuracy, that's what worries me with. I mean, who's better? Physically, Morata isn't very good. You know, his aggression. I think Arnautovic will be a good buy. I think we'll go with Arnautovic. He's not going to set us back that many coins. You know, only 5k, it's easy enough to trade back. And we've got some coins anyway from today's packs. I don't know, I'll try it. There's no harm in trying something. For me, I think it, it could be the, the making of Lacazette. It could very well be the making of Lacazette. So I'll, uh, I'll put that into a squad, I'll play around with that. And I will see... What is this? Oh god, that was my starter team, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I'll see. I'll I'll play a few games of that uh, off camera, and uh, you'll see if it works. Then it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, we just we gotta try something different because I feel the four three three just isn't really working for me right now, and we have to try something different. Um, I do like the wingers because we have spent a lot of money. In Williams, so I do want something with wingers, but um, yeah, I think that's where we are going to end this one. It is getting on a little bit, so that's where we're going to end it. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on, all that good stuff. I've been David, this has been episode 8 of my FIFA 19 Road to Glory. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Good.